So I'm going to talk about the, f the feature in corporate cultures that, that is underlying so much of how people operate at work. The big, it's kind of like the big bogeyman, uh, and that is the fear of failure. It feels like it's such a huge topic that people don't even know how to start talking about it, let alone how to start managing it out of their culture or even you know, managing it out of ourselves. So I want to give you a couple of tips now to break it down into something smaller that, that, that we've been finding can really work. And the first piece is to say that if you actually think about a failure, the number of times that somebody really fundamentally fails is quite rare. So I like to try and get failure down into something a little bit smaller. And let's start with making a mistake. Because ultimately a failure is going to be made up of hundreds of mistakes. And when people are not happy about failure, they're not comfortable with talking about failure because of the fear of failure, it actually becomes your weakest area. What you're afraid of, you get weaker at because you don't practice it. You don't feel comfortable with looking at it and doing something about it and building more strength around it. So if you break it down into like lots of little mistakes and start learning how to talk about mistakes, you start to undo some of the, 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 the cap that is on this bottle, which is called the fear of failure. But even mistakes become something that are quite hard. So let me give you even, even smaller ideas. So let me tell you of a, a terrible mistake that I made the other day. Okay, I arrived at the airport and I got in a taxi. And as I was halfway to the venue to run this workshop, I remembered that the client had said that they had ordered a car for me. So then somebody rang me up and said, oh, the driver's waiting for you, where are you? And I went, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I caught the taxi. Now that is such a small mistake. And yet what I'm finding is that when I ask people to go around a room and talk about the little mistakes that they made on a daily basis, people are just not used to doing that. So there is a technique that I like to use, which is to get people to talk about the small mistakes. And then I'll up the ante a bit. So then I'll say, well, you know, I was giving feedback to this client the other day and I just went too far and she got really defensive. And as a result of her getting really defensive, now she doesn't want to work with us anymore and we're probably going to lose, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars worth of revenue. Right? Okay, now we're starting to talk about a mistake that's maybe a little bit bigger. But unless I can talk about that every day, how are we ever going to get better? You know, you look at... I don't know, basketball players, you know, you know when, when, when at the end of any game, they all sit there and do an analysis. And the analysis is about we could have done this better, we could have done that, we could have done the other. So the technique for starting to get on top of fear of failure is to get used to talking about mistakes. And here are just some really simple phrases that you could start doing that. Okay, I did not anticipate, blah, 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 blah. I forgot something, something, something. I said something. And it didn't go down well. Uh, I miscalculated. I overestimated something. I underestimated something. I misjudged this person. You know, I I I um I didn't anticipate what was going to happen X Y Z, and so therefore I did this, and it didn't work out. All phrases you'll notice that that fit into uh, something that we call above the line, which is they start with an I statement. And they're about me taking responsibility. So the technique I would encourage you to use to just start to lance this ball, which is called fear of failure, is to practice talking about small mistakes with I statements and start them with some of those words. I didn't anticipate, I misjudged, I made, made you know, my mistake, I said this, I didn't say that, whatever. And as you get used to it, you start realizing that actually the world did not fall in. So break down the fear of failure into lots of little pieces by having some little techniques like that that you use for yourself or you use in your team. So people kind of get used to talking about that and realizing that it's okay. And you do that for a little while and then you get a little bit bolder. But the real thing that happens is you have the opportunity to learn and to talk about it and to do it better next time, which is what every sports person on the planet who is good will do every day. So why do we find it so hard in in business. And I think it is because we've got into this huge sense of a fear of failure, which is then translated into a fear of even talking about anything that might resemble a mistake because it's leading us to failure. So there's my tip on fear of failure. Thank you.